Welcome back to Parsifs and Parsif Money. Today, Art and I went to a library book sale, and when we got there, we found out they were all children books and DVDs and audiobooks. Name your own price. So we filled two full bags for $20, and I'll show you what we picked up today. We took the kids with us today, and so a lot of these books were things that they were interested in, and we picked them up. So I don't know anything about this particular series, but there were several of them, Abigail Adams, Patrick Henry, and then The Courage of Helen Keller, but it looked right up what we would be doing for school and reading out loud. So I thought, well, we'll pick those up and see how we like them for some schooling here. I don't know if you guys remember the name Tom Brokaw. He was on the news when I was a kid, but he put together this book and I thought this looked right up our alley for reading out loud. It looked just really interesting and it seemed like it covered all of American history and the timeline. So we picked that up for some reading out loud. And then Brain Quest. We like Brain Quest workbooks. They're just a lot of fun to work through and not necessarily part of our curriculum, but just fun, fun schooling. And the price was right. Daniel requested a Tom, a source, Rex, and then Daniel also requested things that go. Hannah liked this one because it had lift of flaps and Daniel wanted that one. My kids love books like this, Eye Twisters, and I was right. As soon as we got home, this was one of the first books that was picked up and started to be read. National Treasure, one of our family favorite movies. We have number one, but we didn't have number two, and that was there. And if you guys are familiar with The Christmas Shoes, I believe that's the name of the movie. Love that movie. Well, this is the next one in the sequel, and we, I don't know if I've watched it, I don't think I have, and I definitely know I don't have the DVD. So that was there, we picked that up. Hannah has a similar book that I picked up at one of our other book sales with all the animals and owls, and she just absolutely loves them. So I said, yes, we can definitely get this one for Hannah, and I will be reading this a lot. Aren't those possums cute? So that one's called Countdown to Fall. Fun book, don't know if it's still available, but I love getting books for Hannah and the kids that they just really love. Eating the Alphabet for Hannah and Daniel, and then this one was also for Hannah. She loves board books and animals, and that's her thing right now. Daniel requested Tigers, and then Fly Guy, always a favorite in our house. This is a cookbook for kids, and Mary found this one, and she asked if we could get those. So it had just really good, easy recipes. It looked like they're pretty whole foods, um, like this one, the muesli, oats, wheat flakes, raisins, apricots, hazelnuts, shredded coconut, grated apple, and then milk to serve. Really, really easy recipes, and they're all the same way. Eggs, cream, salt, and pepper. So I said, yes, go ahead. That looks like one that would give you a lot of good ideas for meals, and she just loves cooking right now. That is her thing. So I said, yes, let's grab that book here. I've never read A Pocket for Corduroy, but we all love corduroy, so that was a win-win there. And then over here, this really neat bug book. It kind of, can you guys see that? Really has a hologram on the front of it. And then it has posters and things like that. And then all sorts of good information about different moths. Hey, we've had those. Hummingbird hawk moths. We've seen those before. But never seen that atlas moth. That's kind of ugly looking. All right. One of the book ladies workers there found this and said, I think this looks like something you guys would like. Can you even do that? And there was only one of, one of the things that was done right here. So we said, yep. My kids like working on those. These are really good in the car for car trips and things like that. So we picked that up. So that was the first bag of books. That was my stash of books that I found. I had the kids with me. Art went to another section of the sale and he did hit the videos and the audiobooks. And he doesn't know anything about what he got. So I'll show you what he got. He's going to just kind of filter through them, listen, and whatever he doesn't like or is not not good for other people to listen to in the family. He's just going to go ahead and redonate. So I'll show you what he found. Again, I can't say that we know that these are good books, 
But this is what he found. Now this one looks cute. Lives of the Pirates, Swashbucklers, Scoundrels, Neighbors Beware. And this one is for ages seven and up. So this might be really good for the kids, but we'll let Art listen to that one first. And then Lawrence in Arabia. Have no idea. Like I said, he just thought these might be of interest to him. Uh, this one, Brotherhood of Heroes. Boy in the Nets, uh, Nazi Death Camp, Surviving Hitler. And this is an honor book. So that one might be really good. And then Telling My Sons, Laura Lippman in the company of soldiers he loves great courses not sure that he he wasn't sure if he'd like these particular topics this one's from yo to mayo five thousand years of chinese history and then classical archaeology of ancient greece and rome if he doesn't like them he'll just pass them on but he loves the great courses so he picked that up how appropriate for our life in our our current situations right now. Stress, Portrait of a Killer, goes hand in hand with what I am reading in my NTA class. So he'll preview that and I may end up watching that one. And then don't know anything about these guys, but he'll preview them and see if they're worth anyone else watching. He said he watched this one. I might, might remember watching this one. I don't know. He said that was really good. The music to this movie is amazing. Not sure how the movie is, but we know we like the music. And then 24, we, Art and I have watched some of the series of 24 and we really enjoy relaxing when no kids are around and watching that. And then Art loves classical music. I like it too, but he really likes it a lot. And so he found some really good John Rutter collection. I love John Rutter. He found some really good things. American Christmas. I bet that's really good too. And music for Tudor. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Christmas Day in the Morning. Beethoven Symphony. Isn't this exciting, folks? Trumpet Concerto. These are what Art loves to listen to. So some really good Christmas cantata. I bet that's really nice. And then more Christmas music. It must have been on a Christmas theme here and songs for a Williamsburg Christmas. So everything here, $20. I'm going to tally up how much this would be if we were to buy it new and to show you the comparison and savings. If you guys are looking for library book sales, the best way to find your li local library book sale is to ask the circulation desk. They can often tell you how often they have sales. Every library is different. This particular sale was an impromptu sale. We just happened to read it in the newspaper. This isn't what they normally do. So they called them pop-up library sales. That's why it was only for kids books. But it's a great way to get books lots of books and it's inexpensively. In fact, the lady said, if you make me an offer, you can take all of the books at the end of the sale because we're just going to get rid of them. Let's do it. <laughs> that is so you, Art. We have done that before, remember? How much money did we buy in that, those truckloads of books? $50. How much? $50. Was it? Yeah. Were we vlogging then? Well, which one are you talking about? The one in Albany. Oh, no, that was five hundred or something. It was, was a lot it? of money. And it was a lot of work too. Yes. We love books. We try to be very uh, choosy with what we bring in because we love books. But $20, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. And before I forget, we ran into one of our YouTube viewers. So Erwin and Debbie, it was great to meet you. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. And maybe we'll see you again at another library book sale.